What's going on guys? We're back here with another video. It's been a minute since I've made a YouTube video and that's because I'm still working on editing a lot of photos and processing things from our recent Blue Ridge Bonanza Salamander trip. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. But today it is a gorgeous early July day and we are going to be hiking up to one of my favorite overlooks in West Virginia to look for some timber rattlesnakes, the state reptile of West Virginia. And it's one of my favorite species. And I have Liv today, who's hopefully gonna get her lifer timber rattlesnake. And we got the snake stick and we've got my photography homemade shield. But yeah, I will update you guys when we get to the top. This here is classic Crotalus heritus habitat. You can see all of those exposed rock outcrops and thick brush with high elevation blueberry and mountain laurel rhododendron, things like that where these snakes can quickly escape into cover. And then they also have all of this exposed rock to come out and bask on. So that rattle sound that you guys are hearing, that is the timber rattlesnake doing its namesake rattle. And that's basically its warning signal saying that, hey, just so you know, I'm over here. Don't bother me. It's one of the most distinctive sounds. There's a gorgeous black-faced timber rattlesnake. So cool. So right now it's in its defensive pose, ready to strike if needed. But as long as we don't do anything to provoke it or aggravate it, it's just going to stay just like that. All right, so we just got some beautiful wide angle shots of the timber rattlesnake overlooking the canyon here. And we're just going to help it get back to its den where it came from. So kind of coax it back there. I forgot to mention, but timber rattlesnakes typically come in three different color variants. There's a black phase, which is what you're seeing here. And then there's a chestnut phase, which has kind of like a mixture of black, browns, and yellows. And then there's a yellow phase, which is very bright yellow with brown chevrons. And interestingly, this den has all three living in it. And as you can see, there he goes back to where he came from. Really awesome reptile and arguably cooler habitat. There's another black phase working its way up. Mission accomplished. We saw about five timber rattlesnakes, three of which were in their dens, and then two of those decided to come out for us and we got some good looks at them. I got some sweet photos that you guys will see here throughout this video, but we are on the way back down the mountain and I've worked up quite an appetite. So we're going to head into town 
into Davis, West Virginia, and grab some food at Wicked Wilderness. So we'll see you there. I've got a portobello burger and I got a buffalo chicken sandwich. Hiking for timber rattlesnakes really gets an appetite going. Wouldn't you say? We're gonna end the night with some celebratory ice cream. What are you going with, Talenti? Very nice. I think, I don't know. I, mean, I think I'm going for the old BJ's. All right, y'all, we got our ice cream and we're gonna end the night with some Jurassic Park. That was a pretty sweet day. We saw like six timber rattlesnakes and got some cool shots. So I will see you guys in the next video. I'm never going to look for rattlesnakes again. <laughs>